Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this animation in Blender 3.4 Alpha. You can find the link to the Blender version in the description. So let's get started. As always I will use this HDRI, the link to that is in the description. Now add a plane and go to Geometry Nodes, click on New and close this window. Delete the group input and add an icosphere. Connect the mesh to the geometry, set the subdivisions to 3 and add an extrude mesh node. Add a subdivision surface node. Let's set this to 2. Add a set shade smooth node. This one. And also add a set material node. Go to the material properties, click on new and select the material. Now we need a gradient texture. Set it to a radial and connect the color to the offset scale. Add a color ramp. Put the black to somewhere around here. Add a random value. And a wave texture. Plug the color of the color ramp into the bottom here. Now plug the color here into the minimum and add a math node. Set it to subtract and duplicate it. Now set it back to add. Open the timeline here. Make sure you are on frame 1 and set the value to minus 1 and press I to keyframe it. Also keyframe the distortion. Go to frame 125 and set the value to 1. Keyframe it again and here set the distortion to minus 140. Keyframe that too. And let's go to frame 251. Select the math node and duplicate these keyframes and put them to frame 251 and do the same for the for the wave texture and now if we press play we've got something like this now let's go to shading and go to rendered view I'm going to use cycles for this here under color management set the look to very high contrast now let's make it transparent and also set it to transparent glass. Delete the principal BSDF and add a glass BSDF. Control shift click it and also add an emission. Add a mix shader. Put the emission into the bottom and add a color ramp. Plug the color into the factor, bring the black in like this, and add a layer weight node. Use the facing and plug it into the factor. For the emission I'm going to use a blue color, and for the glass let's use an orange color. Add an area light, go into top view and move it over here. Now let's go into front view and move it down and rotate it like this. Go into top view again and rotate it. And let's scale it up. Set the power to 100. I think that's not enough. So let's try 1000. I think that looks good. Now let's change the color to something blue again. Let's save. Go to layout mode and go into front view. Now let's add a camera. Press delete on the numpad and zoom out with this button here. Press ctrl or 0 to go into camera view and press G set set to move it on the local set axis. Hit shift A and add an empty plane axis. Go to the object constraint properties. 
and let's select shrink wrap select the plane as the target go into front view and move it on the y-axis this is going to be our focus for the camera and now if we press play as you can see it moves along with the plane so let's go into camera view and rendered view and select the camera go to the object data properties and enable depth of field select the empty ST focus object and let's try a f-stop value of 0.5 for example I think this looks good and set the blades to 16 back in the render properties I'm going to render with 428 samples and with the noise enabled now let's go to compositing enable use nodes add a denoise node set to accurate and uh, enable denoising data to get these outputs go to the output properties and i'm going to set it to jpeg and quality to 100 percent now let's set an output folder let's save again go to render and render animation once it's done rendering let's close this window go to video editing and make sure you're on frame one Hover over the file location and press Ctrl C. Set the file format to FFmpeg video and the encoding container to MPEG4. And also set the output quality to high quality. Now go here and hit Shift A, image sequence, and paste in the location minus the name. Press A and hit Enter. Go to Render and Render Animation. So that's it with the tutorial, I hope you liked it, please let me know what to shoot next and I'll see you next time.